I know that my Redeemer lives. What joy that blessed assurance gives. He lives, he lives, who once was dead. He lives, my everlasting head. He lives to bless me with his love. He lives to plead for me above. He lives my hungry soul to feed. He lives to help in time of need. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. My dear friends, we gather here during this second week of Easter, this Tuesday of the second week of Easter, and we acknowledge that our Redeemer lives. It is truly a wonderful day as we continue our Easter celebration and our Easter joy, as we cry out, Alleluia. As we gather here today, we give thanks for this day, this season, for the gift of the resurrected Lord. We realize that we have sinned, we ask for mercy, we rejoice in God's forgiveness. Let us pray. Enable us, we pray, Almighty God, to proclaim the power of the risen Lord, that we who receive the pledge of this gift may come to possess all he gives when it is fully revealed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers were of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of the, his possessions was his own. But they had everything in common. With great power the Apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who own property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds for the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles. And they were disturbed, distributed to each according to need. Thus Joseph, also named by the, popple, by the apostle Barnabas, which is translated son of encouragement, a Levite, a Syphic by birth, sold the piece of property that he owned, then brought the money and put it at the feet of the apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is king. His, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is king in splendor robed. Robed is the Lord and girt about with strength. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. He has made the word firm not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old, for everlasting are you, O Lord. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust and deed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for the length of days. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. Sing alleluia, sing alleluia, sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia to the Lord. Praise His name, praise His name. Sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia to the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, You must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So is it with everyone who is born of the Spirit. 
Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can this happen? Jesus answered and said to him, You are the teacher of Israel, and you do not understand this? Amen, amen, I say to you, we speak of what we know, we testify to what we have seen, but your people do not accept our testimony. If I tell you about earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Nicodemus was a follower of Jesus, although from a distance. Nicodemus, of course, was part of the religious leadership of the day. He was a Pharisee, and he also was part of the Sanhedrin. But yet, he believed and trusted in Jesus. And you know, in today's interaction, we hear Jesus telling us about wind, and isn't it true that although we have all of these wonderful models and we have all of these instruments, we're not really sure where it comes from or where it's going. It can change direction. It can increase in intensity. And the same is true about the Spirit of God. For we know not how the Spirit comes to us. We know not how the Spirit will move us. We know not how the Spirit will bring us closer to Jesus. But what we do know is that we as the followers of Jesus, we as the disciples today, must recognize that the Son of Man will be lifted up so that everyone who believes in Him may have eternal life. The Son of Man was lifted up upon the cross. And once again, we look at this cross. To the world, what does the world see in the cross? Torture, death, defeat. But that's not what you and I see. We see through the eyes of faith. We see Jesus lifted on the cross, and we do not see torture. We see love. We do not see defeat. We see life. We see how much God loves us. That's why it's important to have a cross visible in your home. Because we look at that cross. And in those times when we feel sad, yes, we can look upon the cross and embrace our sufferings with the Lord. But also keeping that cross, that gift of life, so will the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in Him may have eternal life. That's the message of Easter. That's the message of our faith. Behold the wood of the cross. Believe and have eternal life. As one body, let us present our petitions to the Father, confident in His loving care for us. We pray for the church throughout the world. May God bestow unity among her peoples. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our world, that our leaders will find peaceful solutions to our conflicts, for peace in Ukraine and in other places of the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our nation that we may be a people who are dedicated to human life from the moment of conception until natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For each one of us, may the blessings God has given us bear good fruit in our lived testimony to the gospel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who suffer sickness, mental anguish, infirmity. We ask you, Lord, may they be restored to wholeness 
through your unbounded generosity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they be welcomed into the joy of the eternal banquet in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For your needs, your intentions, that we bring to the Lord today in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Together, let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. We now take all of these prayers, those that we've spoken aloud, those that remain in the silence of our hearts, we lift them up to God our Father. We pray them as Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Heavenly Father, hear our prayers and grant what will bring us closer to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go, announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. He lives and grants me daily bread. No. He lives and grants me daily bread. He lives and I shall conquer death. He lives my man just to prepare. He lives to bring me safely there. He lives all glory to his name. He lives my Savior still the same. What joy this blessed assurance gives. I know that my Redeemer